Well, it's very dangerous because uh, people listen to it and are in some cases convinced by it. And as in so many other cases, and you say, I, if, if someone, say, for, for, um, for very private reasons, uh, doesn't wish to wear a mask in a supermarket, uh, then there is a great danger now, I think, that they might be upbraided by some customer who will come to them and say, look, look at this advertisement here. The government says that you're causing people to die. Uh, and you can imagine lots of people forming and, and very unpleasant scenes uh, following. And this is just the danger of this sort of thing. If you, if you, the, the government has, has, has conjured out of the ground like an amateur sorcerer, this immense monster of fear uh, which it will find very hard to get rid of. People are, and this is, they're absolutely sincere about this. And I, I actually sympathize with them usually. I, I'm fortunate in, in both my education and my experience. I, I'm quite hard to influence. But other people believe very much what they're told by authority. Mm. And for, it's reasonable for them to assume that, that, that it's justified. And very large numbers of people are genuinely terribly afraid of, what, of, of, of this virus mm. in a way which verges on superstition and is completely impervious to any kind of reasoning if you, if you ever try to do so, which I have once or twice tried to do. <laughs> and it's been, I, I'm, I love arguing. But it's been obvious to me from very, very early on this that there's, there's, there's no point here because it's it's not a it's not a reasoned position. It's come mm. out of fear, and the origin of that fear has been has been the government fanning that fear, and and, and that is the shocking thing. Yeah. The other thing we have to worry about here is this: the the whole argument which we ought to be having about whether this shutdown of the economy and society actually works is not being had. So the, 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 even if it is working, which I, I frankly contest, uh, there's no evidence for it, even if it is working, the, the, whether it, it's justified under any uh, sensible cost-benefit analysis is also not being had. The only argument that's being had is over whether people should be really, really frightened and over whether people like you and me should shut up. Mm. And that's been the great change over the, probably over the past couple of weeks. Yes. Uh, we used to be able to say, but hang on a minute, is this justified? Mm. And I can say, it's like, as I often do, it's, it's, it's like burning down your house to get rid of a wasp nest because there was still an argument about whether the action was justified. That's all gone now. Mm. Now, the only argument is whether, is, is whether you and I are entitled to speak and whether we should be shut right. up. But also, have you not... Have something, you... something else in here as well, because I'm fascinated mm. by it. I, mean, um, I, I have never been a supporter of, the, of Donald Trump or a sympathizer of him in any ways, but, but the, a lot of the attack now on the supposed... Um, uh, the supposed um, right wing, uh, which I, I imagine I'm part of, is based on the, the appalling behavior of Trump supporters in, in the Capitol building last week. Now, here's an interesting thing. Two of the most as if, yeah, as if the two things it, are related, it, it, right? Yeah, two of the, there were two of the most prominent figures in this country who have been arguing strongly for shutting down uh, the economy. At the beginning of the Trump era, were, were, were very strong supporters of him and were, were prepared to be seen with him and, and make a lot of them. And those two, and I'll say them here, is Michael Gove, the cabinet minister who I think has been arguing most fervently for shutdown, and Piers Morgan, mm. uh, who, uh, who, 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 who is the monarch of, of Good Morning Britain. And th their associations with Donald Trump, whatever they may say about him now, seem to me to show an absence of judgment. Mm. If we're going to be attacked as a kind of collateral damage for the revolting behavior of, of the people storming of the Capitol building, then shouldn't people also be saying, yeah, you know, hang on a minute, these prominent supporters of lockdown uh, were themselves uh, strongly associated with a very, very serious political misjudgment. Not all that long ago, should we be taking their judgment seriously now? Mm. Well, that's a very good point. Funnily enough, I had Piers Morgan in the studio here just before the end of last year. We will make America great again.